So what does marijuana actually do to the brain? The human brain goes through the most growth during the adolescent years. Heavy marijuana use can damage developing brains in teens and young adults. Long-term marijuana use causes changes in the brain that are similar to those caused by long-term cocaine and heroin use. Though they may not be apparent at first, the most enduring effects are seen in decision-making, concept formation, and planning. Even after heavy users have stopped, these effects can continue. Mental health consequences are also associated with marijuana use. These include an increase in the prevalence of depression and anxiety with higher rates of marijuana use. Teens who smoke marijuana at least once a month are three times more likely to have suicidal thoughts than non-users. Using marijuana may increase the chance of psychosis. Heavy marijuana users are more likely to be diagnosed with schizophrenia later in life. Marijuana use doubles the risk and hastens the onset of schizophrenia. Parents and teens may not know that there is a strong correlation between marijuana use and academic achievement. However, this is not true for all teens who use marijuana, but a strong possibility still exists. Compared with non-drug users, teens in high school who have tried marijuana are three times more likely to earn a C average and six to seven times more likely to earn a D average. Adolescents who use marijuana weekly are almost six times more likely to cut class or skip school as those who do not. Marijuana use is associated with lower grade point average and poor school performance, negative attitudes towards school, increased rates of absenteeism. There also is a strong link between marijuana use and dropping out of high school. A longitudinal survey of 1,392 teens aged 16 to 18 showed that a teenage marijuana user's odds of dropping out are more than twice as great as a non-user. Students who use marijuana before the age of 15 are three times more likely to drop out of school before age 16 and two times more likely to skip school. These trends continue into the college years. There is a link between continuous college enrollment and marijuana use. In 2010, 18.5% of young adults age 18 to 25 were current marijuana users. This is the age range of most college students. Research shows that marijuana use increases in college. About 38% of students use marijuana pre-college. An additional 25% use marijuana after starting college. Of students who do not use prior to college, 74% were offered marijuana during college, and over half of those continue to use marijuana.